What happens on the land happens to the water. Nitrogen pollution globally and locally is a tremendous problem. Since 1985, there's been a 50% increase in the amount of nitrogen entering our coastal environments. And these are very fragile environments. Initially, when Long Island was settled, you dug down just a few feet through the topsoil and loam layers, and you got into clean sand. And when you put water, even wastewater, on the clean sand, it just magically disappeared. The conventional septic system was going to the bathroom and dumping it in a concrete pool in your backyard. That was it. That's how little we treated our water. All of that marginally treated wastewater is heading back into our aquifer. Our aquifers are becoming less and less suitable for drinking. So it is affecting our own drinking water now. So in order to solve that problem, we have to solve the problem of nitrogen entering the coastal environment. The Center for Clean Water Technology is tasked with solving that problem at the source. One of the main sources of nitrogen to our groundwater and to our vulnerable shoreline is antiquated septic systems. We have about 360,000 septic systems and cesspools on Long Island. It's one of the densest places in the country that has very few sewer systems. The Nature Conservancy has been deeply involved in a campaign island-wide to reduce nitrogen and improve Long Island's water quality, both our surface waters and protect our sole source aquifer, the source of drinking water for Long Island. The Nature Conservancy sought a partnership in the Center for Clean Water Technology. We have common goals, we have common interests. To that end, through the Nature Conservancy, we were able to install a wetlands treatment system. Uplands Farm has its own unique history. J.P. Morgan bought the property and gave it to his daughter, Jane Nichols. She'd started a farm and ran a commercial dairy on the property. The most significant thing that she did was to oppose the spraying of DDT and to become involved in a major lawsuit and help lead to the nationwide ban on the use of DDT. She was extremely passionate about nature and the land and trying to replenish the health of the soils. And she's the person who gave the land to the Nature Conservancy. One of the things that the Nature Conservancy has always done is to promote environmental awareness on the part of others. And we also try to model good practices ourselves. We're asking people to upgrade their cesspools and traditional septic systems with nitrogen reducing systems. Our marine scientists decided that we should put in a wetland-based treatment system. Natural wetlands have been known as nature's kidneys for many, many years because they have tremendous purification potential. And so one of the promising technologies that exists are constructed wetlands, which are essentially gravel or sand media with some beautiful plant species. So it has some aesthetic appeal to a homeowner. It can look like a little garden outside that has a really important functional purpose. When we did this installation, we installed four different treatment chains. Two contained kind of your typical wetland grassy species, and the other two contained more ornamental, aesthetically pleasing species that we can look at. Within each of those different chains, we also installed several locations for sampling ports. We can sample the top of the system, in the middle of the system, and what's coming out at the end of the system. We're really trying to increase our understanding of these processes occurring in wetlands, which have long been kind of thought of as a black box, where we know what's going in and we know what's going out, but we don't know what's happening inside. So this is an opportunity to elucidate those mechanisms. This is a research project, so it's going to be more expensive to do this than to do the systems that are perfected by 
the research done from this. So this is a step toward a conclusion. It's not the end game. On a site like this here on Long Island, with the nitrogen issue that we've had, the more people that are involved, the better. Because we're late, you know, we're way past when this should have been done. And we're finally getting on the game and getting these things in the ground and studied and hopefully perfected in a short period of time. Our ultimate end goal is to be able to use this information to engineer even better systems in the future. So ones that are less costly, that are as low maintenance as possible, and that have a smaller footprint and something that can be applied residentially across Long Island and far beyond. Uplands is open to the public. We have a lot of visitors who come to use our trails. So they're kind of a captive audience to learn about this project. It's really a fitting way to use our land just as Jane Nichols helped raise awareness with the DDT lawsuit. We think it's an ideal place for raising awareness about how behavior changes can improve water quality on Long Island.